what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Stefan Clark, the black man who was gunned down by the police, Sacramento police, a few days ago because he was allegedly breaking into cars, apparently is a misogynistic, self-hating man whose Asian girlfriend shared his hatred for black women. Now, before I go all the way in on this, let me just say this. I've been reading some things online where black women have found out about this and they're going in, that's why I don't ride for black men and that's why I don't march for them. I don't give a damn if they get shot because they don't care about us and they don't love us and, and they, don't, they don't care what happens to us. Who's going to protect us? Who's riding for us? Let me tell you something, young woman. Let me tell you something, young lady. It's millions of us riding for you. You can't allow the behavior of a few to make you want to say, I'm going to discard everybody. In other words, you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. This dude, this is just one dude and one dude's opinion. Now, there are many other black men who think like this, but trust me, those bastards are the minority. Those self-hating, crusty bastards are the minority. The majority of black men love you. That's evidenced by the relationships that you're in with black men. And most black women are in with black men, all right? So we can't allow the enemy to separate us and get us off track and say, oh, and use this dude as a, a lightning rod to say that uh, all black men ain't shit. Because if you do that, then you are feeding into the narrative that your son ain't shit. You can't have black sons and say, I don't give a damn about what happens to black men. You see? You can't have black daughters and say, I don't give a damn what happens to black women. That's stupid. It don't, it ain't, it, it's just the furthest thing from common sense. It don't even make sense. So we can't say that we're not going to look out for each other because we have a few bad apples in our, in our group that are not looking out for us and who hates us and hate themselves, even though they were, many of these dudes have black mothers. And the trip part about it is that most of the black men who got this attitude, them motherfuckers black is all outdoors at night. But they tripping on, they got something bad to say about the skin tone of a black woman, you see? So y'all can't get caught up. Don't let the enemy catch you up like that. The quickest route to genocide is to divide. Keep that in mind. Don't get taken off track. Now let's get into this sucker move this dude made. So, there was a Twitter user by the name of Eat More Fruits who exposed him. Black women, this is what Stefan Clark thought of you. I don't want nothing black but an Xbox. Dark bitches bring dark days. And here's a tweet Stefan's Asian baby mama posted and laughed at regarding black babies and another tweet she wrote about black women. The user tweeted this on Thursday. She also loves using the N-word. Notice that Stefan Clark co-signed the tweet about black babies. His Twitter was Zoe Woods. The user posted tweets allegedly written by Selena Manny. That's Clark's girlfriend, which reads, This nigga said, I don't want no black baby. I'm already black. I don't need no black baby. A user with the Twitter handle Zoe Woods replied, On God, 
alongside a 100 emoji. I'll say it again. We cannot allow black people who don't fight for us to do the enemy's bidding and trick us into not fighting for one another. I love people in general, but I fight unconditionally for black people because no one else will. Stefan Clark, you found out the hard way. No matter how aggressively you try to distance yourself from your blackness, despite the fact that you hooked up with a non-black person for the sole purpose of having light-skinned babies, despite the fact that you went on social media and dogged out dark-skinned black women and babies, in the eyes of the racist pigs who popped you up 20 times in your grandmother's backyard, and the judge, jury, and prosecutors who will ultimately find no wrongdoing, you're still a nigga. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.